I'm back, bitches! Yep. Yep, we're back. To talking about the MTFs of the SCP Foundation. Today, we are going to be talking about the Germany or the Deutsch MTFs, which there's a, there's a, there's a good chunk of them. There's over 20, there's just under 25 of them, or actually is at 25. <sighs> it's been a long day. Long story short, these guys basically are the German MTFs, which I need to elaborate on one certain thing. The German MTFs basically have also different call signs. Instead of being called MTFs, they also can be called RTFs or part of an RTF, which more or less is a reaction task force over a mobile task force. But with that being said, we should probably move on to it and get through them because, oh boy, this is going to just be interesting. HAL 1000 is more or less just a group of nerds that take care of AI and quantum AI. They are often the people that make sure that other AI systems are under control and also are in where they're supposed to be. They also help out with SCP-079 on occasion, whenever that is an issue. The Inquisition, or more or less just rip off 40k, or Die Inquisition, or I hope I'm saying that right, are more or less the Carterizers, but German. So, <laughs> you know, knock knock, who's there? <laughs> we will ask the questions! Jokes all aside, they actually do their job pretty well and actually keep themselves roughly in uh, where they're supposed to be. Lead Coffin is the MTF that takes care of hazmats and also all bioradioactive or radiology in general. They are more or less the guys that take care of uh, high term of radiations sickness. These guys are also known as, well, <laughs> uh, uh, the radio boys because literally if you have a radioactive problem you call these guys they are a subgroup of the hazmatters and often are considerably much more willing to die to make sure people are safe which yeah that's its own little thing the psy corps or psy core uh, more or less just these guys just take care of my medic hazards? I, 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 it's literally, that's it. They are literally just a bunch of dudes and chicks that take care of my medic hazards. The Defenders. Oh dear God, these people. When I was actually researching these guys, oh boy, this was, this was interesting. Long story short, these guys, more or less, are me. Just people in power armor suits that are working for the foundation. We are bastards of that type of shit. I mean, like, these guys take care of shit. Disease control is more or less what it sounds like. It is the group of scientists and also mobile task force operators that take care of, well, mostly microorganisms and also macroorganisms pathogens and stuff of that nature they can even be using different types of traps baits uh, amnestics poisons incendiary weapons and for emergencies of course but they've even had resorted to um, the nuclear option to get rid of shit so yeah they also have a rivalry with apparently the big game hunters which we're going to talk about in a little bit the Cleaners. Remember when I said that there was about a couple people that were more or less subgroups of hazmats? Hazmatters? Or mad? Ha maz hatters? Oh my god, I can't speak today. Yeah, these guys are that. Well, these guys are the more cleaning operation than the lead coffin individuals who basically are the, well, radiology department of that. The Silent Orchestra. Yeah, these guys are basically, they take care of uh, anomalous sounds and make them really go away silently in the night. Botanist Box. 
I actually said that correctly on the first try and I'm actually glad I did. Anyways, these people are usually the ones that take care of biochemical weapons that suit, uh, well, insecticides? Uh, they also are considerably the plant group of the MTFs, of the Germans, and they take care of mostly everything that has to do with farming, gardening, or some type of, well, anything plant-based. Imagine Poison Ivy, she would probably be fighting these guys. Ah, <sighs> the draft. Okay, I want to make something understandable. When it comes to just massive responsive units, th these guys are it. This is a slight RTF, basically a response task force, which has multiple members in the hundreds of people. But the problem is they have a very high turnover rate. And oh boy, do I mean a, uh, a very high turnover rate to the point where uh, I believe it's almost as much as American truck drivers, which is 128. Big Game Hunters. Yeah, we talked about these guys before with the disease control. They have a bit of a rivalry, apparently, and the reason being that Big Game Hunters are the ones that take care of most of the macro animals. Like, well, Big Game. Hunting, making sure other animals are taken care of and put in their place, and anomalous animals are taken care of. However, both of them agree that they need to do their jobs. They won't harm each other, but I will say this. Big Game Hunters was instrumental in multiple times where 682 escaped. So, yeah. The Logistics. My fucking favorite department. These guys are more or less the people that need to keep and track and also sort and also transport either SCPs, anomalous objects, or need to track down certain anomalous objects that are being transported. Logistics is just the logistics. The logistic. The logistic. The logistic carrion are more or less the guys that you call in when you need something moved. Wreck Diver are the guys that you call in when they need to make sure that the oceans are safe. They often are the ones that are basically called the, well, mole rats of the sea because they're the ones that get transferred and go in through spelunking and underwater spelunking and also other types of cave diving. Neptus Trident, New Seven's sister on the lake. Enough said. Moving on. Crud Seed Cleater. These are the guys that get called in to make sure, uh, well, stuff does not end up in police custody. They're basically the secret police if the secret police were actually the secret police. Clean Up Commando. These guys are the urban warfare fighters. These guys are the ones that make sure and take care of uh, in-house problems. Also, they are the ones that make sure that every single person that, you know, has a problem with the foundation are under surveillance and the moment that they step out of line, well, you ever heard of a double tap? <laughs> Big guns. These are the guys that are the armored division of the MTF and the SCP of Germany. Either be RT, RTI's power armor or even the tanks or hell, even the anti-air defenses these guys are the ones that make sure everything moves smoothly and also are the ones packing the most heat car knives yeah that i'm not gonna attempt to fucking anyways these guys are the ones that take care of high high security necessary well anomalies they also take care of personal persons of interest or groups of interest and make sure that everything's on the up and up Samaritan. How the fuck can I say that when I can't say the other one? Anyways. Samaritan are basically the unit that takes care and makes sure that the civilian population in a certain area are either moved, taken out of the way, or basically uh, saved. They're a wide range rescue operation unit, and thank God for them because they actually save a lot of people. Deep in Rekeni's Borough. This is not really an MTF, this is more of a specialized STF, but they're considered MTF. So, anyways, these guys are basically, one sole objective is to more or less just make sure that certain reality bending anomalies or distortion area anomalies are either, 
well, destroyed, contained, or kept in a specific necessary area to keep themselves, well, contained. Bloodhounds! The majority of this MTF are police trained and previously worked in detective works or crisis focused negotiations. They basically are the tracker boys. They make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be and everything is done correctly. The mechanics. Oh boy. The mechanics is more or less a, again, large amount of high performance computers, technology, and basically everything else in between that this MTF takes care of and makes sure that, you know, technology is not as bad as it could be with any anomalous creatures. The Sky Striker, or Sky Strikers, I should say, is the routine combat training of certain MTFs that basically need to work in zero G. It's easier and safer just to do that, even though with a failure rate of 60%, it often doesn't end well. Hawkeye, it's the Air Force. No more I can say, it's just Valkyries. Moving on. Black Friday, also known as the freaking assholes who run the stock trade. Yeah, I know what it me sounds like, but no, this is actually true. These guys are the ones that investigate stock markets and everything else, and the financial crimes units. Also, I want to point something out to you. If anybody ever sees one of these agents, please, please, for the love of God, uh, punt them in the groin! I'm not joking when I say these are the most annoying people to work with, but they are the most annoying people to work with. Trailblazers. These dudes, uh, well, ever heard of the Imperial Fist? Basically, guys that are able to fortify the fuck out of the positions, no matter how bad it is. Yeah, these are those guys. They basically are the guys that build everything for the Foundation, either be it sites or forward operating bases in less than a day. That are over at least a quarter mile by a quarter mile. Yeah, they're no joke. They're no joke. Cold blood. Yeah, that might be a peace sign there, but um, these are the old school Germans. Like, uh, my Führer type days. They're masters of interrogation and also very good at doing what they do. Ah, uh, Lich Tamer. These guys are the ones that take care of, well, fucking anything that has to do with the undead. Literally, they have fought ghosts, poltergeists, zombies, even a actual vampire. So, yeah, it, it's one of those interesting times where you get to see an MTF that actually does their job pretty well. The Badgers. They're just mole rats. Moving on. Weatherproof. These are the people that, well, they're the guys that are basically the Coast Guard or National Guard when it comes to natural disasters of anomalies. Or, I should say, anomalous natural disasters. Basically, man-made ones. They are often considered one of the best, but usually are often mistaken for Samaritan, which they are not. They are a different group and actually do very well to protect each other and help each other out. The Heretics. Oh, boy. But long story short, it's just the occult coalition type people. But, on our side, yeah, it, it's a lot harder to explain, more than it's just really interestingly bad that these guys still exist. Seers. These are the, well, these guys actually use dead entities, or living entities, as, well, ways to make anomalous firearms, melee weapons, and possibly using passives as a permanent containment sealer? They're just really good at what they do. Light chain. Oh boy. Well, they basically are more or less the people that actually are able to, well, keep everybody in check. I know it sounds weird when I say that, but you have to understand something. These are the guys that if you piss them off, they are going to rain fucking hellfire on any of the GOI or groups of interest with freaking destructive force of goddamn new seven with only about 20 people so yeah rethink your fucking life if you piss these guys off cartographers they're the ones that deal with anomalous digital and electronic phenomena 
Again, more or less just the web browsers, but they are often considered their own special group. Sparks. They take care of anything that is electrically anomalous in the vicinity of anything. They also have a literal Faraday cage and a mobile lightning rod. So yeah. Natural law enforcement. These guys take care of, well, reality benders, reality warpers, and basically they are the best when it comes to making sure certain people are kept where they're at. Finally, the Steel Wells. These are the new seven if they were more or less... How do I put this? A submarine fleet? They often work with wreck divers or wreck divers, so it's often they're working together. But when they need that extra firepower, you know who got it, you. So, yeah, that's, that's all of them. Oh, Jesus Christ, my head is killing me. But yeah, that is all of them. And I honestly have to say this. The next one that I'm going to release of this is ridiculously going to be short. By that nature, I mean, you have to understand something. The Chinese and this were the longest versions of the non-speaking English MTFs. So yeah, this is going to be one hell of a freaking doozy. But with that being said, I want to thank you for watching and also thank you for following all the way up to here. If you can, would you like to hit that subscribe button? Because that way you can join the Legion. You know, my little Legion of SCP followers that want to be in power armor. But besides that, and because of that, I want to thank you all yet again. And always remember, FOR THE EMPEROR! Whoa! <laughs>